Hey guys, good to see you again. This episode is gonna be a little bit different than the previous ones and you're gonna see why really, really soon. So first off, let's start out by doing something with these level ups because <laughs> I know I should have probably used them before now and there was like a whole bunch of pop-ups about it that were annoying you guys to death apparently and I'm sorry if that's like a stressor for you, but for me, if I am exploring the world, doing a quest, like something new, immersing myself in what I'm doing, I don't always want to stop and interface with a new system. And since I've never leveled up in this game, this is a new system to me. And I would have to stop. I would have to look at it. I would have to like maybe learn it. And I just, you know, I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to play with the power armor and have the whole experience. And so I did that instead. <laughs> Uh, but we can do this today. There's nothing stopping us. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. Okay. Cute. Looks like a poster. Um. Yeah, I'm assuming these are perks. And at the bottom it does say Vault Life has its perks. Okay. Well, there's levels over here. And since I can unlock up to Luck 9... It's definitely based off our special points. Okay. So I am gonna wanna read all of these and evaluate where we're gonna spend our points. I guess I'll start on the luck side since we're almost maxed out at, uh, at luck. I'm not really sure what the enter choose to is though. Wouldn't I just click the things? And then maybe press enter. What is? Alt and control previous rank, next rank. Oh, these each have like ranks. Like you see the stars. Okay, so they each have like what? Like about four ranks? Okay, 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 okay. I see how this is working. Uh, yeah, so the first one for luck is fortune finder. We've learned to discover the wasteland's hidden wealth and find more bottle caps and containers. The second one is scrounger. You know just how to scavenge and keep the fight going and find more ammunition in containers. That could be maybe pretty good. The third one is Bloody Mess. Plus 5% bonus damage means enemies will sometimes explode into a gory red paste. Watch out for flying eyeballs. Okay, well here's the thing, guys. I've been trying to be a little bit, you know, more brave. I didn't make a fuss about the mole rats or the raiders. I don't actually like gore. I, I do not like gore. Uh, I, I don't want to not get the 5% bonus damage, but I also don't know that I want to get the gore. So how is this, how is this working? I don't have to start at the top and then go down, right? I can pick anything I want, probably because it would be really dumb for me to need to take, you know, loot finding stuff if I was only trying to invest in luck to get the bonus damage. You know what I mean? That would be like a waste of a few levels. But I was also told that this game has no cap. So we can do kind of whatever we want. Which is... I, eh, okay, I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, you know what? I'm sure I'll find out how I feel about it. The next one is the fourth one. Which is Mysterious Stranger. Who is he? Why does he help? Who cares? The Mysterious Stranger will occasionally appear in vats and lend a hand with deadly efficiency. I like that. We could do that. We could like pretend it's the spirit of Nate watching over us. That makes me actually kind of like it a lot. Stylistically. Idiot Savant. You're not stupid. You're just different. Randomly receive 3 XP for any action. And the lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. Well, that would be really good for us right now specifically because we have like the lowest possible intelligence. I don't think, I don't think you can be dumber than us. I don't think you can actually be dumber than we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one is better criticals, advanced training for enhanced combat effectiveness. Criticals do 50% more extra damage. And I'm going to be doing criticals a lot because that's, that's what my luck's for. So that's kind of good. And then there's critical banker. You're a patent. Is that a pat pa patient? I can read words. You're a patient battlefield technician. Yeah, you wouldn't be a patented battlefield technician, would you? That just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. How would you even patent that? You wouldn't. Anyway, we can save a critical hit to be used in VATS when we need it most. Okay. Uh, moving on down. 
Grim Reaper Sprint, death becomes you. Any kill in Vats has a 15% chance to restore all action points. Four Leaf Clover, feeling lucky. You should. Each hit in Vats has a chance at filling your critical meter. And we can't take the 10th one yet, but the 10th one is Ricochet. What goes around comes around. An enemy's range attack will sometimes ricochet back and instantly kill them. The closer you are to death, the higher the chance. I like that. I like that one a lot. Okay, let's see what our options are for agility. We just have a couple. So there's Gunslinger, which would make non-automatic pistols do 20% more damage. There's Commando, which means automatic weapons do 20% more damage. And we cannot take from three onward, but I'm still going to look. So there's Sneak, making us harder to detect by 20%. There's Mr. Sandman, which makes us an agent of death itself. We can instantly kill a sleeping person. Our silenced weapons do an additional 15% sneak attack damage. Next is Action Girl. No time to waste. Action points regenerate 25% faster. Moving target. We get 25% damage resistance and 25% energy resistance while we are sprinting because they cannot hurt what they cannot hit. <laughs> I kind of wish all of these had the really cute flavor text and not just some of them, but I'm only going to, you know, read them in full if they're quite interesting. Like this one, trained as a shadow warrior, our ranged sneak attacks do 2.5 times normal damage and our melee attacks in sneak do four times normal damage. Quick hands in combat. There is no time to hesitate. We can reload all guns faster. That sounds good to me. So that would need eight entire agility, but it, I don't know. It, so it sounds good. Then there's blitz. Find the gap and make the tackle. That's melee distance is increased significantly. That also sounds like something we need. Okay. Yeah. And I see it has like start and finish and he's like running. Awesome. Gunfu, we've learned to apply ancient martial arts to gunplay. Do 25% more damage to your second VATS target and beyond. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, agility has some interesting stuff. I might want to think about that a bit. <laughs> Intelligence. The first one is Vans. Let Vault Tech guide you. The path to your closest quest is displayed in VATS. I mean, I don't know that I need that. There's, li there's literally a little green marker. That is so incredibly distinct about the position of your quest person that when I was on the hill of the vault overlooking Sanctuary Hills, I could see Cosworth moving displayed by the meter distance. And I was like, what's happening? So that that is incredibly specific. I don't know that I need also a path displayed in front of me to reach the targets. I mean, I know I'm stupid, but we're not that stupid. Medic, is there a doctor in the house? Stimpaks restore 40% more of lost health and right away removes 40% of radiation. How much does it remove on default then? Because if it goes up to 40%, it's not 40% more, it's just flat 40%. So what does it start out as? Maybe I should look at those items and find out. Next is gun nut. Shoot first, kill first with access to base level and rank one gun mods. Hacker, knowledge of cutting edge computer encryption allows you to hack advanced terminals. Yeah, so where's the lock picking one? I guess it's gonna be like in perception. Yeah, it's gonna be in perception, okay. I don't know, I was expecting agility for some reason, but obviously that's perception. I don't know what's wrong with me, something serious probably. Anyway, scrapper, waste not, want not. You can salvage uncommon components like screws, aluminum, and copper when scrapping weapons and armor. That's probably extremely relevant later. Or even now, I don't know when it's relevant. It just sounds like maybe screws, aluminum, and copper are things you want real bad. Science, take full advantage of advanced technology with access to base level and rank one high tech mods. Chemist. Chems last 50% longer, far out. Robotics expert. Machines will always serve humans. If you have anything to say about it, hack a robot and gain a chance to power it off or initiate a self-destruct. I like the flavor text on that one. Nuclear physicist. You've learned to split the atom and command it. Radiation weapons. Wait, radiation weapons. There's weapons for radiation specifically? Is that a type of 
energy weapon? I'm assuming that falls under the energy weapon category. Or is that a new category of weapon? I don't exactly know. But anyway, they'll do 50% more damage. And fusion cores will last 25% longer. Nerd Rage Genius is angry. When your health drops below 20%, time slows and you gain plus 20 damage resistant and do 20% more damage while the effect is lasting. We have quite a few more to get through, guys. Cap Collector, we've mastered the art of the deal. Buying and selling prices at vendors are better. Black Widow, come to my parlor. Men suffer plus 5% damage in combat and they're easier to persuade in dialogue. I mean, the persuasion thing, maybe, but also, I don't know. Lone Wander, who needs friends anyway? When adventuring without any companion, you take 15% less damage and carry an increased weight of 50. I mean, I don't know that I want to do that because I like traveling with the companions. I think they're fun. And then right below that is Attack Dog. Your faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them in vats. Oh, cool. He's like a straight up police dog thing. Oh, oh, he's such a good boy. Next is Animal Friend. Commune with the beast. With your gun, aim at any animal below our level to have a chance to pacify it. That could be kind of fun, maybe. Local leader, as a ruler, everyone turns to you and you're able to establish supply lines between your workshop and settlements. Okay, that's probably meaningful. That's probably like super meaningful somehow. But I don't even know. And look, look, we're just reading the whole time today. Like, like, man party girl nobody has a good time like you there's no chance that you'll get addicted to alcohol why would i ever want or need that inspirational because you lead by example your companion does more damage in combat and cannot hurt you cannot hurt you they can hurt us oh i don't want to be out here getting beamed by codsworth are you kidding wasteland whisperer master the post-apocalypse with your gun aim at any creature below your level and gain a chance to pacify it that's just as cool as animal friend is but i guess it would work on like really freaky stuff like i'm not sure what that's supposed to be it's got pincers so i want to guess Meyer lurk but it's got a scorpion stingy so i guess that's a scorpion but i thought a scorpion would be an animal so what what is it don't tell me what it is if it's something new let me find out on my own Next is Intimidation. This is the final rank in Charisma, and it says, Time to show everybody who's boss with your gun. Aim at a human opponent below your level with a chance to pacify them. Uh, I mean, no, they're probably a raider. So I'll just, I'll just get them. I'll just get them, you know? Oh, boy. Up to Endurance. We could do Toughness for Damage Resistance. We could do Lead Belly for less radiation from eating and drinking. There's Life Giver for plus 20 maximum health. There's chem resistant, 50% less likely that you're going to get addicted when consuming chems. Why would I ever need that? Aqua girl, water is your ally. You no longer take radiation damage from swimming and we can breathe underwater. Rad resistant, exposure to the wasteland has made you more resilient, giving you plus 10 radiation resistance. Adamantium skeleton, your skeleton has been infused with indestructible metal, reducing limb damage by 30%. Cannibal! No thanks. I don't want to feast on the flesh of humans, even if it restores my health. Ghoulish! Sure, you're still human on the outside. Radiation now regenerates your lost health. Solar powered. Catch some rays. Gain plus two to strength and endurance between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. I like that one. That sounds quite nice. Uh, back up top somehow. Why can I not scroll? There we go. Now I may scroll. Haha, <laughs> may scroll because I'm I'm May and I'm scrolling. Okay, yeah, it was a good joke. You all liked it. All right. Your quick hands and sticky fingers make pickpocketing easier. Oh, in case you're not looking at the screen, we're on we're on perception now. I'm not guilting you into into actually watching my video or anything. I just wanted to tell you in case you're not looking. This is the perception line. We're done with endurance, okay? Okay. <laughs> pickpocketing. 25% easier. Uh, riflemen. Rifles do 20% more damage, but only the non-automatic one. Keep your distance long and your kill count high. Well, that's cute. Awareness to defeat your enemies. Know their weaknesses. We can view their damage resistances in vats. Locksmith. Yeah, this is the one I was uh, viewing earlier while we were in the agility tree. Your nimble fingers can allow you to pick advanced locks. 
Demolitions expert. The bigger the boom, the better. Your explosives do 25% more damage, and you can craft explosives at a chemistry station. Night person, you're a creature of the night. Gain two to intelligence and perception. <laughs> <laughs> between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. So we could be like only kind of not dumb at, at, at nighttime. That's really funny. Refractor. You must be part mirror. Instantly gain plus 10 energy resistance. Sniper. It's all about focus. We've improved our control and we can hold our breath while aiming through scopes. That might be good. Except I'm going to do melee mostly. But I mean, I guess we could snipe and then and then do melee when when they get close to us. Anyway, Penetrator. There is no place to hide. In Vats, we can target at an enemy's body parts that are blocked by cover with decrease in accuracy. Oh. We can, like, shoot through doors and stuff. Okay, cool. That, that's actually neat. I, I kind of like the idea of that. Anyway, Concentrated Fire. Stay focused. In Vats, every attack on the same body part gains plus 10% to accuracy. Okay, guys, we're going to look at strength, and then we're going to pick some, and then we're going to be done with this for right now. So, Iron Fist. Channel your chi to unleash a devastating fury. Punch attacks do 20% more damage to your opponent. Big League. Swing for the fences. Do 20% more melee weapon damage. Well, that sounds really good. I may just want to start out with that, honestly. Below that is armor. We can protect ourselves from the dangers of the wasteland by accessing rank 1 armor mods. Blacksmith. Fire up the forge and gain access to base level and rank one melee weapon mods heavy gunner thanks to practice and conditioning heavy guns do 20 percent more damage strong back what are you a part pack mule i mean yes probably gain plus 25 to carry weight steady aim stay on target hip fire accuracy is improved when firing any gun basher get up close and personal gun bashing does 25 percent more damage Rooted, you are part tree while standing still. You gain plus 25 damage resistance and your melee and unarmed attacks do 25% more damage. And then there's pain train. Choo-choo all aboard. <laughs> while wearing power armor, sprinting at enemies hurts and staggers them. Robots and oversized enemies are immune to the stagger. Oh, we can't stagger robies. Or like giant mutant men, apparently, but we could stagger regular dudes and like little creatures. Although I don't really want to stagger little creatures because that sounds a little bit unpleasant. Anyway, okay. Uh, wow, why can't I zoom in that much? Why is it possible to zoom in so much? What do you think I should do? You're not going to be able to give me an answer before I pick something. I think I want to take big, big leaks. Probably is good. Um,. The finding stuff ones do not sound bad. I want the mysterious stranger for sure. And this one, I don't know how useful that actually is, but if we were going to get any use out of it, the time would be now because our intellect is never going to be lower than it is right now. The lower your intelligence, the greater the chance that we'll get random experience for like literally nothing. Um, and I have two level up so I can take two. So I guess I could take both of these, but then I also want this one. And I feel like maybe these crafting ones would be good. The armorer and blacksmith ones. So I'm a little bit at a loss. Also, like, who doesn't want plus 25 carry weight? Everybody wants plus 25 carry weight. I'm encumbered right now. I'm over encumbered at the moment. But I was going to fix that. Um... Hmm... Criticals is always good, too. 50% more damage from criticals. Mysterious stranger. I mean, I don't really think we can go wrong. I don't really think we can go wrong, but he only comes out in vats. I mean, I've used vats. I'll continue to use vats. But I would have to maybe make an effort to use it more to get the mileage out of this. I'm not, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. Okay, we are going to take big leagues. And we're going to take, wait, do I have to press enter now? Okay, cute. And we're going to take better criticals. The other ones I want, they can, they can wait. Like there's, there's time. 
Maybe I am more deadly now. That would be pretty good. Okay, so I can just close this. We're done with that. Awesome. That was easy. That was easy. It took long enough to get an autosave out of it. So that's a thing. Um, also, apparently, I'm not, I'm not supposed to... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to enter. I wanted to take that core out. I'm not supposed to leave the core in it. I was warned that NPCs will do things with my stuff. Oh, you're so cute. Codsworth, can I get out again, please? That would be great, thanks. Okay, so I have to do transfer and take the thing out. Oh. Oh, I have to repair them before they go back on the thing. Oh. Well, no wonder I'm over encumbered. I have to carry those things around, okay. Let's use the workbench. That should be this one. We are not allied to the settlement. Oh. Can I use other stuff to become allied? I guess we maybe can. In the meantime, I want to scrap some stuff. Like most things. I'll, I might keep this. It's glow-sided. That sounds fun. I'm going to get rid of a bunch of this stuff, though. So this is really what I was referring to when I said today was going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to be doing some of the crafting mechanics. I'm going to be trying to learn a bit about how all this is going on. And here's the thing, guys. That's going to be really time consuming. And I know not everyone is going to want to watch it. So I have a few ideas for how I want to handle that. And I want you to help me choose what you think would be maybe the best option. So... I am going to give you those as soon as I've sorted them out in my mind. Uh, right now, all my brain power is going into taking things apart, though. So I'll scrap quite a bit of this stuff. I'm not going to keep duplicates, though, because I can wear those. And I don't want I don't want Raider stuff. And I am getting things out of this. So maybe it wasn't a total waste of inventory space to pick all of these up okay how am i doing on encumbrance now it looks like i can move let's check our inventory and we're still carrying quite a bit but it's not not necessarily bad not necessarily bad we have clothes and stuff that i'll probably want to do something with we've got meat and things i'm supposing we can cook have they put uh anywhere a cooking station because these are here I feel like it wouldn't be weird to put a cooking station somewhere hello watermelons I'm gonna pick a watermelon through a window oh whoops I knocked over the ashtray darn it how is Sturgis supposed to enjoy his cigarette time now? Oh, hello, June. You don't look... Oh, you're not looking good, bud. Excuse me. Hey. Do you have a moment? Yeah, man. I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? What happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. Oh, is that why Marcy's in such a bad mood all the time? What was your son's name? Your son? What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was Kyle. Sometimes it's nice just to share that kind of thing. I understand. I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? We have to go on. For them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I keep telling myself. So. Um, not seeing a cooking station. It might be nice to talk with everybody and uh, see what they all have to say. I would like to try the workshop. I thought that's how I became allied with the sediment. Sediment. I am allying myself with the sediment. Apparently not. Um, okay. Okay. Don't know how to be allied if it's not using this. Okay, well, maybe we'll talk to people instead then. Uh, 
Mama Murphy. I saw her just a second ago. I wonder what Diamond City would be like. The name has anything to do with it. Must be quite nice. I mean, it sounds quite nice, but I'm not, you know, gonna put all my chickens in that egg. Hey. Mama Murphy. Hey. Ma'am. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here, kid. I mean, I'm Your from here. Is tied to this place. Yes, I'm literally from here. My energy, huh? My energy? What do you mean? Thought I told you before, kid. I saw you leave that icebox. I know your pain. This world, it's not yours. But here you are. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. So are we really going to give her Kim's? I feel like we maybe shouldn't give her Kim's, but also I kind of want to know what she has to say because obviously she's clearly a real psychic, right? Like at first I was like, ooh, spooky cryptic lady. That's kind of fun. But then she actually like knew stuff that she obviously shouldn't have really known. And my interpretation of that is that she's got like perception 10. Maybe she even has like a perception of 11. I'm not really sure... But I, I guarantee you there's some kind of explanation as to why that's a thing. And I don't know. I'm just kind of choosing to believe that she's a real psychic. So uh, let's ask her about Jet real quick to see if she has anything interesting to say. What's Jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster. But at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be Jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. I'm kind of worried that we can hurt her health with this, but also I really want to know what she has to say. So I'm going to try it like at least this once. Here, I already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Oh, Co Codsworth didn't like that. Holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know. But people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... It's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... That's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. All right, I think I'm not gonna give her any more. I just wanted a little bit of hint about the, the quest that we're doing. And I'm sorry, Codsworth, I won't do it again, okay? I'm not gonna do it again, I promise. Only, only good boy stuff that makes you happy, okay? Please don't, please don't mad at me, Codsworth. Don't, 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 don't mad. He's only tolerating me, the poor guy. Hey, Sturgy! Sturgis. Can it wait? I mean, yeah, I guess it can. I just wanted to say hi. You don't want to talk at all? Fine, be that way. What about you, Marcy? I haven't had a proper talk with you yet. Hey. Are you snubbing me? Hey, what gave you the idea we're friends? I mean, we're not, but I thought we could be. I'm willing to give you that chance. I'm assuming, like, your, like, child is gone. Kyle? Sorry about Kyle. Help out or get lost. You are the worst. You are the worst. Unclench your fists. Stop it. My goodness. Can't even, like, try. I was willing to give her the benefit of the doubt on that. And it didn't... It didn't work. It didn't happen at all. So this is a pretty view. When I was looking out that window with the melons, I thought I saw Preston out here walking around, you know kind of patrolling the grounds, which is fairly neat. I don't see him out here now, though. But, you know, I think that compass marker is probably him. I'm going to make my way up to him, but I'm going to look around a little. Well, here's a cooking station we can use. Maybe it'll be good to use some of that bug stuff we've got. Oh, cool. Deathclaw steak. Yeah. And grilled rad roach. I have a lot of rad roach meat, so we can make this a ton. There we go. Iguana on a stick. Mutt chops because of that dead 
dog we found. I don't think I'd eat like a random dead dog that I just kind of happened to find. The mire looks probably pretty good. Like that's just large crab, yeah? Large, very angry crab. Given what's on the menu, that's probably what I would go with. Though I'd really rather have some Blamco mac and cheese if it was a thing. Oh wait, there he is. So he is patrolling. I was right. I mean, I knew I was right. Of course I was right. Right? Yeah. Hey man. Can we have a can we have a little chat, buddy? Hey. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think yeah. we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? I think you should do that because I lived here. Yeah. I used to like living here before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying? Yep. What do you think? What do you think I'm saying? Well, that you're from before the war. The Great War. Like one of those old ghouls you sometimes run into. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. 200 years ago. Yeah, sort of. I was born over 200 years ago, but I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? I mean, my son was kidnapped. Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn. I'm sorry. But no. I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway... I am glad you're here. I mean, thanks. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I mean, I kind I could, but I was kind of, I was kind of hoping that I could help out here first. What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual, raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. That's what the Minutemen are supposed to be all about. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. He pulled a Marcy and told me to go away. Like, what do you mean? Okay, cool. We've um, leveled up again. How cute. I really like the little animated vault boy quest things. All right, can I use this now? Yes, I can use this now. Awesome stuff. So, yeah, since this is a crafting system and all, I... I imagine it's going to be very time consuming and I wanted to talk to you guys about how you think I should do this or what might be a good way to handle it. How do I actually search these? Oh, it just gets more and more specific. You go up. Right. Okay. Why is there a little death claw icon? Is that because it protects against them? Why is there a boat on that? Can you put a boat in the barn? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of learning to do. So, I don't think I should have settlement building be a regular part of the series. I would like the normal series to cover mostly the story and the exploration and the stuff that you're used to seeing from me whenever I do one of these, like, role-playing games. I think that one idea this is probably my favorite idea, is to have the settlement building be its own set of videos where I can do that at my leisure and not worry about it too much and then just upload them also. And then you'll see the results of that in my normal videos. And if you wanna have like a chill time watching me build some stuff, then that will be a separate playlist for you guys away from the story bits. I also have considered the idea of live streaming it so that you can talk to me while I'm um, doing that kind of thing because I do really like interacting with you guys. That's why I try to read the comments so much even though I'm scared to because I don't want to read any spoilers. Oh, hi, Sturges. Um, 
Can you can you wait a minute? Actually, I'm a little, I'm a little bit busy. Thanks. Why is he? Why am I still in like dialogue with him? I'm so far. Oh. It is so strange. Uh, anyway, point is, I thought about doing it that way, but I'm not. I'm not sold on the idea because again, I do worry about having some of the game spoiled for me or being told a little bit more than I would like to be told. So maybe the video format's the way to go. Um, if you have a particular preference, please let me know in the comments. I will be reading them and I, I would like to kind of know what people want. I'm really heavily leaning towards the make it, its own series business because then I can just not have to worry about it too much. But since it is so time consuming, maybe a stream would be better. I don't know, let's talk to Sturges. Hey, what do you need? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Okay, I can, I can, I can do beds. I'd be glad to help. Okay, good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Okay, so I was probably supposed to have that little chat with him before I ran up to this and tried to use it. But I'm going to try to use it again. So I'm supposed to hold E. Yeah, that seems to work. Oh, hello. Sorry, June. Excuse me. Let's go over to furniture. And there's beds. So I get to choose what kind of bed. And I can see what I've got. Okay, I've got tons of steel and cloth. I can definitely make them beds. Can I make them, like, nicer beds? Why would I make them crappy beds? I wouldn't want to give them awful beds. Let's give them nicer beds. That's a bathroom. This looks like a room that could have a bed, but Mama Murphy's like right there. How do I rotate this? Um, hmm, okay. That's how, there we go, figured it out. I could put one in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't see any reason why uh, I wouldn't do that. I don't wanna make a bed for Marcy though, cause Marcy's not nice. Yes, Mama Murphy, please move. I would like to bed. I would like to place bed. I guess I could put a smaller one in here, but I want to give them a nice bed. You see what I mean about how this is very different than the the RPG game experience that I go for? Ah, 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 ma, 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 Oh, sorry. Apparently, enter is build. I tried to click to place it, and that did not go. All right. Oh my goodness, she's scaring me to death. Oh, she's pushing me. Don't push me. I'm trying to place a bed. I'm being very delicate about bed placement. There we go. All right, I've done the crafting system. A favor to ask you, kid. I Do you? It's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. I mean, yeah, I can do that. Wow, this stuff is really ingrained into the gameplay, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we can make a chair. I mean, you know, I, I thought maybe we go explore some today. Maybe, what's a, what's a nice chair for her? Something very comfy. This one looks quite good. Let's give her a good recliner, maybe. Like this one, this one looks awesome. Excuse me, Mama Murphy, can I give you this chair? I would like to place this chair. Why are you constantly in my way? Okay, so, uh, I mean, would she like to sit out here? There's a roof. I don't see why she wouldn't like to sit out here. We. Okay, we have to press enter to place it. Bam. Wait, why was the cigar box removed? What 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 in this required a cigar box? I'm a pretty good craftsman if I can just make that out of a cigar box. I'm just saying. Hey, are you happy now? If I talk to her, does she say that she's happy with her chair? A chair I just did. I just did. I did make you a chair. You have a chair sure. now. Be glad to help. Thank you. En enjoy your chair. Oh my gosh, I have to make another chair. Okay, so we can open the workshop menu from any anywhere. It said hold V. That just put me in third person. This is so silly. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. We got this. We, we are expert craftsmen. We're gonna make her such a chair. There are many, many, many. Oh, these look actually new and good. Oh man, I made her like a crap chair. I can make her like a not crap chair. Let's make her a actual clean, like nice, good, good chair. Let's put it next to the crap chair. 
Okay, is she happy now? Stealing cigar boxes. Like, boy, if you're making that out of cigar boxes. I don't know why that's such a thing for me, but it is. That's hilarious. Are you happy? Was that a quest? Chair. You're so kind helping me like this. You're, you're welcome. There's two chairs. Hang on. Let's look at the quest menu. Is this tracked? Oh wait, is it a specific chair? Because it says Mama Murphy's chair. Oh the dang. Person here who's lost someone. I just I miss him so much. Are you remembering that I said that, or are you saying that because I don't know? Okay, is one of these gonna pop up on the title up there near Codsworth and say Mama Murphy's chair? I'm just gonna keep scrolling because I don't honestly I mean I made chairs that I think are nice I like my chairs you know I mean the first one could have been better because I didn't really scroll over enough those are airplane seats is that ser seriously what do I need to do to make this woman a chair I do not understand I'm scrolling don't worry I'm looking I'm watching if it says mama murphy's chair on any of these I'm gonna spot it no it doesn't okay let's it would be in chairs, wouldn't it? Like, it's not going to be up in here with the stoves, fish racks. We need to move away from Codsworth because his name is starting to display instead of some of this stuff. Okay. Um... Oh, wait. Q for search? Can I use Q for search from anywhere? What do you mean this person is not? Oh, special, special. There, okay, special, special section. Okay, so she does have a special specific chair. Well, I've just put, I've put so many chairs. I'm putting her chair over here because she's Mama Murphy and she, she can sit by the window. We can, we can have her sitting like, look, she's sitting by the window. She's looking like wistfully out at Sturges and the melons. Okay. Awesome. A cigarette and some wood and a pack of cigarettes. Man, if you can make this out of that stuff, like Wonder Woman. A wonderful safe, woman. Not, not a copyright uh, character at all. That's not what I was referencing. Anyway, hi, hello. Are you happy? I gave you a chair. Please, please sit. Hey, aching too much to talk too long. I should sit down. Okay, there's a chair for that now. Go enjoy I, I, I the chair. Let's get Cosworth out of her way. That's not working. Bless his heart. There he goes. Okay. I mean, we've accomplished nothing. Like it's been, it's been, it's been the whole episode, and nothing's been accomplished. You can see why I would want some of this stuff to be its own series. Though I will say, now that I've read the whole perk menu and I know what all the perks are, I am gonna need to look through it to refresh my memory. But since I know it. I know it, and I can pick perks now without having to go through all that again. So so picking perks on level up, like we're about to do right now, is not going to be as time consuming as it was at the beginning here. See, look, that was so fast. Wow, we don't even need to think about it anymore. But the crafting system is going to take a lot out of me personally, and um, yeah. So there we go. Um, Next episode is going to be more exploration and fun stuff. Please do let me know how you want me to handle the settlement system because I just, I don't know what to do with it. I, I've, I'm having a hard time figuring out how I can balance it with the playthrough and like fit it in in a way that it feels like it makes sense. So please let me know. Um, I love you guys though. And uh, I'll see you again really soon. So take care. Bye.